outfit. So, okay. um, if you don't mind, I can turn them on if you want, but I just... No, that's fine. Sure. No, I mean, that's fine. I'm good. Whatever you want, <laughs> I'm not going to read them. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to read them. Right. But you're originally from Louisiana, right? Yes, ma'am. Violet. Born and raised. Oh. Right. A lot of people was giving you compliments because you don't look 40. Like, you look... Yeah. Very, very young. Yeah, I'm gonna say that was probably but the best thing that they were saying. And then they just <laughs> bought it all down. Right. Yeah. And then they just they bought it all over, you know. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, you do look good. You do look good for your age. Thank you know. You. What do you what do your kids think about everything that's going on? Because nobody really talks about like what your kids think. Are they excited well, for the new things that's going on? Or are they what, what are they what are they feeling when, right now? The next day when we found out it went viral, oh, my little girl, mm -hmm. she was very excited. Mom, look at this. You, know, you got over a million views. But then mm -hmm. when, you know, all about it, then the smiles. And then my, uh, my second daughter, you know, they had the photo with the whole top of my head. They said it was bald or whatever. So I tried to talk to them before they went to school. I'm like, hey. Y'all know that's not me. I still got this stuff in my head. That's not me. So if you go to school and get in trouble for getting in trouble with somebody, not me, you have a problem. Mm -hmm. Well, a girl came up from school. She fell in my arms. And I'm like, well, what's wrong? She said, oh, they was um, singing a song about you. And I told her, let me tell you, oh next time they sing it, sing it with them. Sing it with them. And I bet you they're going to stop then. But then after that, oh. I went to bed. And I started crying. I started crying because I'm the reason that, you know, my baby was going through this. Mm -hmm. It's the many right. times I said I wish I wouldn't even post it. Yeah. If if you didn't post it, what would, what do you think, how would you would have handled it then? Would, would you just, just let it sit in for a while and just wait for it to come out? Or what, you would have went to the well, ER they were to saying stay that They said, and then you could have just shaved it off from then. I mean, after oh, that, okay. because... When we tried to do like the sideburn spot, if we'd have got under there like we was trying to do, yeah, I'd have been bleeding all over the place. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, I don't think people understand. Like they're saying, oh, well, you know, she, uh, she did this on purpose. Let me tell you. The point, my every day, it was just getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. It felt like I had red ants you know, dancing on my scalp. Who wants to do this on purpose? Wow. Then they came with the, oh, well, right. she must have did it for clout. Clout, really? Let me tell you. I have a dance scene. I have a daycare. With my daycare, you know, I do um, parades with the other daycares around here. Um, I do proms. I do graduation. With the dance team, mm -hmm. we go out and we um, hand out baskets for the older and the sick and the shut in. Like this all of this, I didn't need I didn't need all of this. But right. they're saying that's that's why I did it. But Yeah. <sighs> um, I know you said you're not doing this for clout, but you know, like the media does whatever it wants to do. And they're looking at like, okay, now you got merch out, now you got shirts and all these other things. Mm -hmm. Like, so I know you got some money from the GoFundMe you know, and you were giving back to the family. So what do you do with these shirt, the money from the shirts and everything? Since it, if it's not that, what do you, what are you going to do with that money? I'm probably more than sure going like, um, if they, people don't know me, I like, mm -hmm. I'm a giver. I am a giver. Right. That GoFundMe, 20,000 of that is going to Dr. Owing because somebody had to donate money to get for me to get the surgery. I mean, this procedure. For him to do it for me for free. So the next person might not have it. And, you know, he could do it for them. Now the three, I think it's like three something left. I'm split that between three families in St. Bernard Parish. And mm -hmm. I have two families already in mine. I'm just looking for another one. But this, I, I give back all the time. So they even when I say that, they say, oh, she's doing that for clout. Like mm -hmm. I'm giving the money back because I'm doing it for clout. Right. The and you don't have to. T-shirts and all. You don't the, even have to. The, the T-shirts and everything. That's pretty much going to be. Um, I'm gonna pick another family the next month. Another family the next month. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I I don't. Oh. Some of the stuff that 
people are saying, I, I really wish, well, you know what? I'm going to say this. I don't care no more. They can keep talking. <laughs> right. And they can you can't care. Yeah. Right. And I'm, uh, um, how how yeah. is it when you go out, when you go out in the public, like, do they look at you like a celebrity? Are they shouting shout out your name? Are they saying? Yeah, listen. What do they do? When it first happened, when I was leaving that Wednesday, we went to Walmart. And a bunch of little girls kept following. But I thought, you know, maybe they seen my little boy. But no, then it was the whispering, oh, that's the Gorilla Glue lady. I'm like, ain't this but nothing. When I went <laughs> um, to Los Angeles, like, I'm at Hollywood Burger. You know, I had my hat on. I had the uh, mask on. And, like, after that, and it's like the boy bought me my food. He bought the food and he was like, um, are oh, you Tessica? I'm like, no, 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 that's you. I see them eyes. That's you. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's me. It's me. Yeah, and like, I mean, wow. even at we was at the doctor's office, getting ready to leave to go to the airport to come home. This man bum rushed me out the car. See, I don't like that type of stuff. Tessica, how you do? I don't like that type of stuff at all. At all. Oh. I know it's that well, you're a celebrity now, so. And you, you know that was what he keeps saying, but I mean, you you can't you can't you know you can't get right here. You you can't don't right. come right here. Yeah. Did a, did anybody disappoint you? Because I know you got a lot of support from celebrities, and mm -hmm. um, Portia reached out to you, and a lot of celebrity stylists, yeah. you know, reached out mm -hmm. and chance the rapper. Has anybody disappointed you that you thought was going to like really support you that didn't? Um, no. no, say it again, because your phone, yeah, you. Oh, okay. I said, did anybody not support you? Have you been disappointed by anyone that you thought was going to, like, really stick by you through this? No, because the thing is, I didn't think it was going to even go this far. I knew mm -hmm. when I posted the video, I was going to get negative feedback, and I was going to get, you know, stuff, people telling me what to use. I didn't think right. this negative feedback was going to come from the whole world. Mm -hmm. Like, the whole well, that's world. People that don't even do. know me. <laughs> yeah, but people that don't yeah. even, and here's the thing, if they go on any one of my social medias, I'm so Instagram or um Facebook, I don't really do too much on TikTok, but I'm a good time. You yeah, I like to have fun. If 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 they knew me, I don't feel like they would be saying all the stuff that they're saying. Right. Cause I'm really a good time. Do you feel like, like you they're know, I'm a good time? Do you feel like they're always gonna call you the gorilla glue girl? For the rest of your life? Yeah, they can call it to me, but I don't have to I don't have to answer to it. True. I'm more than sure that's never gonna get over. <laughs> right. I'm more than positive it's I never know. gonna get old. It's never gonna get old. It so you're gonna go natural for a while for the six yes. weeks, right? Oh and no, I'm gonna try to cause I feel like I'm gonna keep the whole natural only because I'm scared to put a perm on it because I think if I put a perm on it, my hair gonna melt. That, I, that's just me. That's what I feel like. Yeah, so I'm going to just stick with the natural and the wigs. I don't know. And it, it might not be true, but I'm, yeah. I'm scared. Right. I'm scared. You, are you still but, getting the headaches now, even after the fact? No, not, not, like, not like it was. I'm telling you, the headache was constant when I had that point insulin. This is what happened. My sister ended up cutting my, my, the, my real hair, my point insulin off. And it gave me relief. Right. I was able to get inside where the ponytail was, but just see mm -hmm. all around, it was, I mean, wow. stuck. Oof. I can just imagine, yeah. like, you know. Yeah. You know, I would have thought some people would have reached out to you, you know, from hair companies trying to help you, like, um, you know, be an actual spokesperson for them. Well, I mean, oh, because Jessica was, was the first person. Jessica sent me a whole, I think she sent me pretty much one of everything out of our inventory. Oh. We'll call out of school. Dope. Yeah. Okay. And this, listen, it came the next day. She said, hey, I'm sending you this. And it was at my doorstep the next day. Wow. Yeah. What's up? Okay. Well, yeah. All right. And um, I know you're you friends with Jess, right? Jess, Jess Hilarious. Yes. Jess Hilarious. I love her. Yeah. I love her. Yeah, she's yes. super dope, too. Right. And I love her before... Um, we even started Before conversating. Yeah. She's super. She's so little, though. I thought she was going to be taller than that. <laughs> she's super short. I was like, oh, really? God. I met her, like, when she came to Philly. Yeah, she's super little. I'm 5'3". She's shorter than me. So. Wow. 
Well, I'm yeah, five and one and a half. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Your mom went on Wendy Williams and, and, and made a little phone call. Did you tell her to do that or she did that on her own? <laughs> Listen, I begged her not to call this lady because I know my mama. She's going to call and she's going to go all psycho killer. Ma, please uh -oh. do not call these people sure. So, of course, my little sisters called me and said, hey, your mom on the show. <laughs> you better, your mom on the show. So I'm like, Lord, I don't want to look at this. I call my mom. I'm like, Ma, why, why? Why, why, would you, why would you do that? Why would you do that? She said, did you listen to it? I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. You need to listen to it. And then when I listen yeah, to it, I'm nice. like, oh. Yeah, she was. She really was. Yeah, she was nice. And Wendy just bought a whole nice bunch of church. My kid, you know. Right. Yeah, she was super nice. Yeah, but when she didn't turn she didn't turn it around at this point. Wendy, she has turned it around at this point. She done bought uh yeah. She bought shirts for everybody. Herself Are you gonna in go the on studio the Wendy show? Do you have any plans on going on her show? No? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. I know I know a lot of I was watching some of the stuff on YouTube, some of the bloggers, you know, they go hand. And uh, there was one particular person that said that um, they were getting a cease and desist letters from you. Is that true? Not from you, but from, uh -huh. you know, your bandage man. Oh, yeah, I think they did. Because I feel like, to me personally, I, I feel like y'all going too far. Uh -huh. I say it in the video. I say it in a bunch of interviews that I did. I made a mistake. I, I mean, right. I was rushing. And that was the only thing that I seen. And all I'm thinking is, hey, as soon as I get home, I can wash this out. But y'all is really like, you know, I'm dumb and really? Right. Really? I mean, I it was a mistake. And then they make money off of you and then they want to talk about you, right? It's crazy. Well, yeah. you know, so that is true. Thank you for clarifying that. Because some people are like, oh, no, it's yes. not true. So... Is there anything else that you wanted you wanted to clarify that you haven't been able to clarify in the media? Uh, the GoFundMe. Oh, that you can't even touch that. Like I'm trying to donate it to you know, uh, Doctor Bain and the three families in Saint Bernard Parish. You can't even touch it because that many people have wrote emails saying it was a fraudulent account. So. Really? Yeah, so at this point, I don't know, like, they must have thought that was going to hurt me some kind of way. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you know, have at it. I mean, it's just be a minute before Dr. O'Bain gets his donation and the three families get their um, blessings. But, right. I mean, at some point, y'all got to stop. Like, y'all got to stop. For real. Yeah. So you can't touch the money until what? Like, is it a certain period no, of time? No, um, or... It's being investigated. We have to write up a, a, a bio and put it on there, and then they'll, they'll go from there. But okay. how would, I don't know, how y'all would say it's a fraudulent account? For one, you're seeing the stuff in my head. Two, mm -hmm. I was flew all the way to California. The procedure, it's on the internet. So, True. you know, make it make sense. Yeah. I think people just want to stop you, you know? from trying to get this but money why? to feel like you could be Yeah, it's crazy. But you, you know, know, at first, no I think you know everybody how... was shocked at first, you know, and now it's like, oh my God, this this is really real. Like, this is really happening, you know. But my thing is, it's you know really how happy I'll be when people get stuff? Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Like, if a p parents bought houses, I'm, I'm excited. Like, you own a piece of the land, of the earth at this point. I'm excited for everybody right. to get something new or do something new. But again, people don't know me, especially the people that I'm guessing that called and said the fraudulent account and the people that said, oh, I did it for clout. Clearly, y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know me. True. True. Yeah, because I'm, I'm what do you, definitely what do you not. Say, what do you say to the females that say that you are making the black woman look bad? Because I've been hearing that too. Because you put gorilla glue in your hair and they say oh you're not supposed to do that and da 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 what do you say to the women that say that because I was looking at some of the comments mm -hmm. over here, you know well meanwhile they use hair glue for their lashes so you know I'm gonna leave it at that facts they yeah. do <laughs> there's that you know what I'm saying 
Just Thank I was you. in a nail shop and the girl came through. The girl came mm -hmm. asking, she said, You that girl? I'm like, Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. She said, Here's the thing. I didn't have hair glue one time. And she used super glue to glue in her tracks. And I'm sitting there like, you know, that was that was that, you know, that wasn't small. You know what I'm saying? But she right. said she was embarrassed to tell anybody. So she said that she said she had blisters and everything in her hair. Before mm -hmm. I got to that, I am about to ask for help. Right. Yeah, I'm not. But I guess that was the big mistake. But matter of fact, it was the good side and the bad side. The bad side, you know, people saying all their little opinions or whatever. But the good mm -hmm. side is I got the stuff out of my hair. So true. This true. is what I wanted. And I got it. Right. Well, I'm glad that you got and it out. Another thing about the whole... I think everybody was scared. <laughs> everybody no, was like they were saying about, scared. um, she doing that for the money. She doing it for the money. Uh -huh. The day after I posted the video, well, the day the video went viral, do you know how many people was in my inbox for promos? You know how much money I could have made, like, that it. day. Like, right then and now. But... I'm still trying to get this out of my head, but you want me to do a promo. I can't. And I'm trying to get this out of my head. Now, you know, they can yeah. promo it up at this point because I'm good. You know, my life, we good at this point. But yeah. it was just way too soon. Like, y'all didn't even care that this stuff was still in my head. You know, they wanted me to just advertise this stuff. And yeah. I know, yeah. that's hard. They want to just use you in the business because it's like a, you did the hot thing right now. You know, yeah, but you had TMZ there inside the actual surgery with you. You know, yeah, that, that's huge. <laughs> TMZ yeah. is huge. You know, <laughs> you've been covering it the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because really yeah. the thing is, even when I first got the um first text saying, "Hey, this is Charlie from TMZ," <laughs> I'm like, "Whatever." Uh, right. I didn't believe it. Mm -hmm. I promise you, I didn't believe it. Oh but gosh. it really was him. Um, Shekinah called me. Like she said, like the name came across the screen, FaceTiming. I'm not answering this because this, you know, I don't know who this is. Whatever, I'm not answering it. Right. Then she went in my inbox. It was like, hey, friend, I tried to call you yesterday. And I'm like, whoa, that really was this lady. Like, you know, I should have answered. But uh -huh. I mean, people was really, really going crazy. And then it was the people that I called. Because for a while, I was answering the phones. And people called, are you okay? Uh, use this, use that. But then it was one, hey, you put a real in your head? Yeah. Why would you do that? That was stupid. And hang out. So I got tired of those calls. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just threw my phone in the corner. The phone started ringing again. My little girl came up me the phone. My eight-year-old came up me the phone. She was like, my head, your phone ringing. I answered it. And it was Gina. And I'm like, well, yeah, who is Gina? Who, who, who is this? She <laughs> gave me her whole background she gave me, she told me what she can do as far as, you know, her taking over my emails, my accounts and everything else. And I promise you at that point, it felt like, you know, she was sent to me because I was pretty much over it. If it wasn't for Miss Gina, I wouldn't even find, find um, Dr. Obain. This lady was a lifesaver. Well, Gina, from, and from then Dr. Gina is a big dog in the business. So you got the right person. That's do you know? <laughs> and she called me. You see what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. she people get mad. Friend. And that's what she keeps saying. But people, because a lot of times I don't told her, you know, I'm done with this. I'm sick of people. She keeps saying that, you know, don't let people, you know, make you stop or don't let people get in your head pretty much. Right. So at this point, you know, I'm going to just keep it moving. Right. Yeah, but they, so make, they really... What's next for you? Uh, you don't know. Work in the morning. <laughs> work in the morning. <laughs> you actually uh, dancing work. Wait, hold on. What you say? Wait, what was that again? What no, that what you again? said? I said I I, I have no, to work I, in the morning. It had blurred out. Yeah. What What are you doing again? You said Why tomorrow you, you gonna do what? You have to work in the morning. <laughs> and I said you're still working. You're still working and everything. Well, I have a daycare. I have to work. Okay. It's mine. Yeah. yeah. And that was that's oh. another reason I'm trying to explain to them. I, I don't I don't need the clout. No. No. Right. You got like, I do a raffle 
every year. Went free daycare for a whole year. Wow. That's huge. That's huge. Like, if I needed everything, they try to say, expensive. oh, she needed it. But for y'all to just say, you know, oh, she doing this for the money? No. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a giver. I'm more of a giver than a taker. And you can pretty much ask people in St. Bernard Parish. I'm, I'm a giver. Right. Well, as long as it hasn't affected your daycare center, like, has any parents checked out or did anything no. mean to you? No, they're good? No. Because they know you. Everybody knows. That's what. Every, exactly. Right. Everybody knows mm -hmm. me. Everybody. Right. Like, <laughs> half of the parish right now goes back and forth with people that's saying all kinds of stuff to me. But I keep mm -hmm. trying to tell them, let that go. Like, I, it's not bothering me no minimal. So stop fussing. Stop going back and forth with them. But I don't know. Maybe it's just like a little joke or whatever. I don't know. Something to pass yeah. the time. But yeah, y'all should leave me alone. Though. Yeah. Right. <laughs> for real, if y'all come hang with me, I'm a good time. You know, I could, you know, we could. Right. But, <laughs> for real. Well, look, for real, come go out with me. Come to Philly. If you come to Philly, you got to come hang out with me. We're going to chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm chill. Like, I, Listen, so down when it's earth. pandemic over, I don't want to chill. I want to be right. Yeah, I want to dance. <laughs> right. So how, and how, was all this huh? how was your Valentine's Day? How was your Valentine's Day? Did you, did you, uh, no, you know, my how... mom ended up hurting her back. My mama ended up hurting her oh. back. We were supposed to do the sip and paint, and she was cooking, you know, lobster dinners for all the um, men. But she hurt our back. So we all I did for oh. Valentine's Day was go get a haircut. Yeah. So, so we trying to do something for Saturday. Are trying to come at you? Are the men trying to come at you? How, how's the dating thing going? You got a boyfriend? Well, yeah, no, like, listen. I'm engaged for one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Did not know that. And the only okay. reason I don't wear my ring because I lost weight and it just slips off. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We were supposed to be getting married wow. April 17th of this year. But something okay. happened in the whole pandemic. They're saying I only have so many guests. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we, I have a big, big family. So that, you know, 50-person limit, that's pretty much the wedding party. So that's not wow. going to work out. But, yeah, wow. no, I don't feel like, no. It's a bunch of people that came in my little inbox. Mm -hmm. But all I did was, hey, <laughs> kept it moving. <laughs> yeah, are you no. are you still gonna thank everybody that that hit you up in your inbox? Because I know you said man, you're gonna I'm thank trying. Every listen, person. I'm like, I'm trying. Listen, I really want to do. I'm trying. I'm almost done on Facebook. See Instagram mm. and that TikTok. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. lot. It's a lot. You might have to just do a big thank you and just and I did it, that, but I, I did that, but yeah. I just feel like it'll be more personal. If I do it, you know, right. yeah, one sure. by one. Right. Like I did everybody on my phone. Everybody that texted and called on my phone, I did them already. I'm almost finished on Facebook. Then I'm going to start on Instagram. And it looks like every time right. I'm almost done on Facebook, more coming. <laughs> yeah. Well, every time you do an interview, somebody going to hit you up. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, that's how yeah. it's going to go down. Yeah. Well, Tessica, I, I definitely appreciate you giving me your time and I hope you mm -hmm. get mad success and love and support throughout this journey. And um, I appreciate you. Do you have anything else you want to let everybody know? I know you got the website that's up now. Yeah. Yeah, they can um, go shop. I think uh, Tessica's merch.com. But for all the people that's, you know, being real mean, for real, y'all come on, get to know me. I'm a good, good time. I'm a good time. I like to have fun, you know. Aww. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. Well, it was an honor. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. All right.